Hey friends, I'm currently on my Mac and I have it really plain right now, just a background image on my desktop here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change this photo. Now you can change it to something very specific that you want, or you can have it auto update with all sorts of different styles of images or colors, textures, art, all sorts of cool things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to our little icons bar down here. If you don't have this, then you can actually come over here to your Apple and click on the system settings button. And this is gonna bring up all sorts of different options for us to look through. So what we're gonna be looking for today is down here towards the middle section. That's gonna be wallpaper. Let me click on that. And this is gonna bring up, again, like I said, all sorts of different options for us to choose from. Now, we have some dynamic wallpapers. These are different textures as well as color schemes that you can choose from. We have landscapes we can choose from, cityscapes, underwater, earth. You can shuffle aerials, all sorts of different things that we can choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the landscape. Let's just do the redwoods from above. Once I click on this, you can see automatically this is going to shift. Let's say you have a very specific photo, maybe one of your family that you'd like to have on your background. Well, that's pretty easy to do too. What we can do is click on this little button right here, and this is gonna allow us to select a photo from either our photos. So we can choose this, that'll bring up your photos that are specifically on your computer or on the cloud if you share them from your iPhone, or we can click on this button. And what this does is it brings up our computer files. Now I've got all sorts of screenshots that I have on my desktop, things that I've taken little pictures of. I can choose any of these files and then that is what will become my background shot. So again, if you have a photo specifically somewhere on your computer that you wanna use, you're gonna use that option. If you have it inside your Photos app, well, then use the From Photos option right here. And there you go, friends. That is basically it. Again, super simple options here. I really, really enjoy these. I've always loved the Mac. Native ones that come preloaded with the software. And they're constantly updating these. So again, take a peek and see what best suits you. Hopefully this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for me. Let's us know we're making helpful videos. And then stay tuned because we make a ton of these little tutorial videos to make your life just a little bit easier. Take care, friends, and we will see you again on the next one.